Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Brian. And I'm Elizabeth. Today is April 12th, Equal Pay Day. 77 cents on the dollar sounds equal to me. I love making less for the same work. Oh, the beauty of our government. Let's send it to Sabrina with our weather. Hey MJ, it's Sabrina, back up for your weather. Today will be partly cloudy at the high of 67 degrees. It's a beautiful day to go support our tennis team and our soccer team at Wilson Central, our track and field team and our baseball team at Lebanon High School, and our Lady Bears softball team over in Gallatin. Come out and support your Bears on this lovely spring day. In Mount Juliet, the rest of this week will thankfully be warmer than it was this morning, with lows in the 50s and afternoon highs and then 60s and 70s. It may rain on Thursday and Friday morning, but this weekend will be sunny and warm. Warmer weather is also expected for much of the Midwest and East, giving them a much needed break from the cold. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrina. Now for a couple of announcements, there will be an ACT prep session for juniors who have taken or are taking Honors English 3 at 815 to 1121 in the theater. And Jostens will be here to deliver graduation announcements during all lunches today. Also, there will be an AP government review session tomorrow after school in room B102. AP Psychology students that would like to take a multiple choice practice exam after school this upcoming Monday need to see Mr. Seaton by Friday in room B144. Now let's see what's happening in our sports news. Hey Mount Juliet, so in your local sports there will be an upcoming boys basketball camp at MJHS for any kids in 2nd to 8th grade. It starts on May 24th from 8 to 11 in the morning and goes throughout the week with the same time until May 27th. The cost will be $100. Our very own staff and players from our boys basketball team will run the camp, focusing on offensive fundamentals like passing, shooting, and more. And at the end of the week, campers will receive a camp t-shirt. The tennis team will be playing Gallatin to face the Green Wave at around 3.30 today. Softball will play a game tonight at Gallatin at 5 o'clock, so wish both teams the best of luck. Last weekend, the wrestling team traveled to Independence, Missouri to compete in the Brute Nationals. Nine wrestlers competed at various weight classes and against many competitors across the country. Austin Pumley led the way, being Mount Juliet's first national champion. Stephen Weiss finished second in his weight class, and Caitlin Lee finished first Ladies Bears to compete in the national. We had six other wrestlers that competed and placed in the top eight. Their next national tournament will be in Columbus, Ohio, to compete in the Tournament of Champions on April 23rd. Congratulations to all of these wrestlers on a job well done. That was all your sports for MJ. Back to you guys. Awesome stuff going on in the wide world of sports. Speaking of sports, everyone should definitely come out and support the tennis team in our last regular season home game this afternoon. Also, boys basketball tryouts will be this Thursday from 3.20 to 4.50 in the afternoon and Friday from 6.30 to 7.45 in the morning. Also, graduation cords and tassels for German National Honor Society will arrive this Friday. See Ms. Zahuski in room A107 for payment information. And seniors, the top 10% need to bring money for honor stoles to Ms. Teresa Hill in B126. Also, seniors, if you have received any additional scholarship offers since you turned in your form to guidance, please let your counselor know. Senior Awards Program is scheduled for April 28th. April 1st through 15th, Nursing Ed is doing a donation drive for a local nursing home. Please bring new personal care items or treats to room C140 or give to any nursing ed student. Also, be sure to not forget sugar-free, soft food, and male-oriented care products. They're often overlooked and they're very appreciated. Now, as we get closer to the end of the school year, more AP teachers are preparing their students for exams. AP Language and Composition will meet on Mondays after school in room B142. AP Calculus Review Session after school on Tuesday in room C124. After school review sessions for AP Physics 1 will begin next week and will be every Tuesday and Wednesday leading up to the exam. AP U.S. History Reviews after school on Thursdays in room B107. AP World History Reviews after school on Thursdays in room B123. And now, let's see what's trending with Megan. Hey MJ, it's Megan here with your Trending Now. Over the weekend, students from MJHS participated in the YMCA Youth and Government Conference at the State Capitol with great distinction. Congratulations to the club for being selected as a premier delegation. Also congratulations to Stella London for being selected as an outstanding statesman, Taylor Cuthbertson for being selected as an outstanding press corps member, and Amanda Nolan for being selected as an officer for the next year as the video press editor. Three MJ Bills may dock it this year out of the six submitted. We are very proud of our students and how they represented MJHS this weekend at the Capitol. Also, also we would like to congratulate Joseph Emmert for being confirmed as a primary appointee to the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. He was informed yesterday by Congresswoman Diane Black, who called him personally to tell him. In other MJ news, our drum line is in world class, which is the highest bracket any percussion ensemble can be in. They are the only world class drum line in Tennessee, and the closest competing ensemble is in Indianapolis, Indiana. 
They will, they will compete this Thursday through Saturday against competition across the world in Dayton, Ohio. They will be against the top ensembles that all earn their way to compete at the world-class level. We saw what they were made of last week at the pep rally, and I know that they will do amazing at their competition. Here is a clip from their great performance last Friday. Sounds like a lot of great things are happening at MJ. I'm Megan and that was your Trending Now. Thanks, Megan. There will be a breakfast for seniors that attended Lakeview Elementary on Tuesday, April 19th from 8 to 9.30 a.m. RSVP to Lisa Patterson at 615-210-9870. Ball State Medical Terminology Test will be April 18th. Applications and study guides can be picked up in rooms C142 and C123. Students must have had at least three health science classes. And seniors, your graduation fee of $85 is now due. Please bring it to Ms. Teresa Hill in B126. Chemistry 1 tutoring will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays in C126 and C128 from 315 to 4. And remember, all notes for early dismissal must be in the main office by 815 each morning. And students must have their IDs with them at all times. Except for seniors. <sighs> every day. This is an everyday thing. There's, there's still hope. Mm -hmm. there's, yeah, okay. No, Hold on, guys. Oh, all right. Free after school math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 315 to 415 in room C145. And finally, our word of the day. Hey, Joel. Nice car. Oh, this, this isn't mine. <laughs> no, this, this bad boy right here is mine. It's hybrid, gas, and electric. Wow. Eco-friendly is so hot. I've got a lover. Babe, you will not believe what just happened. I love you. Thanks for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Brian. And I'm Elizabeth. And here at BNM, we're in touch. So you are in touch. Have, Have a, a great, great day, MJ. MJ. Mike check.